it's all about love <laughs> and commitment. It's all about living together in one accord with God's love, the love that never fails. Welcome to another exciting edition of mm. Living Couple, a love edition. My name is Oluwa Femi Ohito. Thank God for life. I have two special guests here with me. They are no more my guests. What am I even saying? Yes, now. We are co-presenters now. Of course, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Happy New Year. This is our first appearance. Happy New Year. Watching yeah. <laughs> us wherever you are, any part of this world. I have Pastor Mrs. Gold Adoye here with us. Uh, she's a uh, wife of a pastor, an area pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. That's Lagos Village 51. I will always make that Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, thank God she is a, a psychologist. A marriage, yes, okay. a psychologist and also a marriage counselor. Mm -hmm. We have our mommy in the house. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our regional mommy. Always here. I'm always excited when, when she's here. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 black is beautiful. Amen. Yes, so she's looking beautiful <laughs> with her attire. Yes, this. This mm. native uh, mm. wear. Yeah, yeah, this is a native Sunday. We try to do it native Sunday. Oh. So we have Pastor Mrs. Oluwa Tony Olaleko, a regional pastor's wife in the Redeemed Christian Church of God Region 12. We have her here with us and we thank God. I Amen. want to take time and say thank you to everyone who has been part of Living Couple on Dove Television, your text messages and um, all the programs you've seen so far on Dove Television. I want to say thank you. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. God bless you. Amen. We want to give thanks to God. And in doing that, we would like Pastor Mrs. Gold to please lead us in a short prayer. Hmm. Oh, Kaka. O kaka, eze ije bube agi jureli we we juwa. O di gonye gina yana chine liwe. O di gonye gina yana chize. O kaka, o kaka, eze ije bube agi jureli we juwa. Ancient of days, the God that has been from the beginning, mm -hmm. the God that needs no man to be God. Mm -hmm. We worship you for another new year. Thank you. We thank you for every family listening to us tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. We thank you because you are the originator of marriage. Mm -hmm. Thank you because marriage is your own plan and purpose. Thank and you. the devil has no business in it. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you because for everything you have made, you said it is good. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we thank you because this year, our marriages will be good. Amen. They will be the best. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we start the program this year, as we start the program today, we invite you, Holy Spirit. Yes. We invite God the Father. Amen. We invite God the Son. Amen. We invite the God the Holy Spirit Amen. to come and start with us mm. to come and heal every wounded heart mm. to come and amend every broken heart mm. to come and restore peace into marriages mm. to come and take control in the name of jesus mm. and lord at the end of the day we shall give you the glory mm. thank you heavenly father you. for in jesus mighty name we mm. have prayed amen, amen. amen. praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. in fact when you said the song i knew it i said holy spirit this woman <laughs> that's my native song <laughs> Okay. Okaka means awesome God. Mm. Uh, you are wonderful. Mm. There is nobody that can contend with God. Nobody. Mm. Mm. There is nobody to say oh, I'm, I'm I'm God with you. Ah, mm. mbane. You don't. God is God. Mm. Uh, no contender. contender. No, nowhere. You, you can't, you can't contend God with God. him. Yeah. That's why he's called God. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For everyone watching, please, we want to say to all parents, to all mothers and fathers at home, please try as much as possible to allow the children to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Because this is a time where we discuss issues about our marriage, about our home. There are things that you won't want your kids to hear. Uh, you know, they are still young, not this age. Please just tell them, um, my daughter, my son, can you please excuse me? Uh, let me just, you know, watch this program for just one hour. Then I'll allow you to see all the programs you want to. So please 
let's just uh, permit the children. So children, please <laughs> permit <laughs> mommy and daddy. I'm, 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 yes, I just have to say this on <laughs> behalf of time. them. <laughs> and I want to say, if God has laid it in your heart, you want to sponsor this program, there's a phone line that will be scrolled right down your TV screen for sponsorship and adverts of this program. You can get, or you have a product, you want us to advertise your product on this program, please feel free to call the number displaying on your TV screen. Oh, you have screen. a program yes. that has to do with marriage, seminar, mm, youth Yes. Ah, That's yes. Mommy, the both of them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, we, we can also advertise it on this platform. <laughs> we can, we can yeah, we can advertise platform. it also. But mm. if you want real talk, <laughs> Pastor Mrs. is good and Pastor Mrs. is only what you your landing. Count me out, too. <laughs> the two of them are involved. But I can come and, you know, make the place like yeah? Make it jolly, jolly, jolly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and come and put yourself out, of course, it's a of team. Of course, it's a teamwork. We want to say thank you. Mm. And please do that. Now, uh, the phone lines will be open up for you shortly for you to call us. If there's anything bothering your marriage or you feel like sharing it with us, please feel free to call and um, be part. Just a quick one. Uh, um, Someone said, uh, well, the issue we discussed in our last edition mm -hmm. about um, sex and stress. Okay. And we have lots of text messages. Mm. People are really complaining. Mm. But before we read that, I just want us to read something in the Bible uh, that will, you know, relax the mind mm. of everyone watching. Mm. Your husband, your wife, you're watching together. Something to relax, mm. to keep the home in mm. a peaceful atmosphere. Mm. Okay. Let's turn our Bibles together to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter, Ephesians chapter 5, from verse 20. And it says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then verse 21, it says, Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, uh, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in mm. everything. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that it might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself as a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wife as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bone. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Now, this passage is expressly telling us that marriage is a great institution. In fact, the Bible re regards the issue of marriage as a mystery. Mm. And when God wanted to describe this kind of mystery, God looked at everything he could use to describe it. The only thing that is close to describing the institution called marriage was the relationship that Christ has with the church. Mm. That is to tell you that marriage is something very deep. So when you are looking at the relationship that Jesus has with the church, God is telling us that it is the same relationship that we should use when we are describing marriage. The Bible says that Christ loved the church. He died for us. And he said, husband and wife should submit to themselves. That is why you cannot understand God. You cannot come to the full knowledge of God if you don't have a relationship with God. The same thing also implies that if you don't have a good relationship with your spouse, you can't enjoy your spouse. Mm. So what we're staying this year as we start under the dynamics of love is that you must understand that marriage is a mystery. Mm. It's not something you can just express superficially. Mm. Somebody forgives, somebody sins against me, and you're telling me to forgive the person. It's a mystery. You have to forgive because that is what God asks us to do. Mm. It is a mystery. Mm. Okay? My wife doesn't deserve the law. My husband doesn't deserve the law. Nobody cares. The Bible says you should do it, and we are doing it because, said, because God says we should do it. Mm. So it remains a mystery.
mystery. Marriage remains a mystery. And he also, Paul, Paul went further to say, say that the issue of the submission, you see, when you look at the relationship between Christ and the church, mm. you discover that it got to a time that Jesus Christ had to lay down everything he had just to redeem the church back to himself. So it means that when you enter the marriage as a husband, as a wife, you need to lay down everything. When I mean everything, you lay down your body, you lay down your money, you lay down your time, you lay down your, your, your emotions, you lay down everything mm. just to enjoy that person. No interference. You don't bring in people into your marriage. You don't bring in a third party. Mm. You don't take your wife for granted. You don't take your husband for granted because Jesus never took the church for granted. Mm. Mm. In fact, he loved the church so much that he was, his eyes was always on the church. His eyes uh, uh, was always on the church. And he's still on the, on the, church. the church. church. So that means even you as a husband and wife, your relationship is on the continuum. Mm. So I love my husband 2018. I need to love him 2019. Mm. You need to love him more. And even love him more. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's a good foundation to start yeah. this program. And um, in starting, we want to say for the text message, hello, Pastor Ikena from Enugu. Honestly, I'm happy with your program. Please keep it up. Thank Can you, you make this program a must during marriage counseling? That's one of the things. Four years in marriage, still believing God for children. It's shaking mommy, my mommy, faith. Mommy, you know, mommy, you will look into four that. years in marriage, mm. believing God, and it's shaking our faith. That's four years. Okay, good evening. Uh, what do I do since I married over 15 years ago? My ha wife has never asked for sex. Ah. Most of the time when I want to have sex with her, she tells me she doesn't feel like. Mm -hmm. I asked her and she wants, she has no response. Mm -hmm. How can I make her enjoy it? No response. Most of the time she allows me, but, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> it's always turning off. Mm -hmm. That's one. Uh, okay, uh, this is another one saying, okay, my husband has asked me to stroke his private parts with his hand. Please, is this right? during marriage. This is another one. Uh, let's, let's mommy take that story first so that okay. we don't mix out. Okay, we, we will not. <laughs> we, we have it here. We will not. Mommy, that look. <laughs> uh, well, uh, there was, there's a verse she read there. And let me just use it to start the 2019. Mm. The verse 21 says, submitting yourselves mm. one to, an to another. another in the fear of of God. You know, when we quote this Bible, they quote it majorly for women. They say, wives, submit to your own husband. Mm. Wives. But here it says, before he started saying wives, he said, submitting yourselves one to another mm. in the fear of God. Mm. So now the case is, how do you fear God? Mm. And how much do you fear God? Mm. The person saying our faith is shaking in four years. It's not easy to be barren for a year. Mm. But at the same time, there is something you need to understand. Outside God, you can't have a child. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's true. There is nothing you can do if God does not do it. Mm. So when you say your faith is shaking, it's not time for you to be shaking the faith. You need to, it's for you to dust up yourself and look up to mm. that God. Mm. God has been answering people 10 years, 15 years. We don't pray your own tarries this long. Mm. Somebody has been in it for 19, 20 years. Mm. It wasn't a good experience anyway. Mm. We don't pray that for you. But at four years, if your faith is shaking, then sometimes I think what happens again is when people are too anxious. Mm. Doctors used to tell anxiety. You won't get pregnant. Mm. Your heart, your everything is there. Mm. Do something. Free your mind on, after all, marriage is not all about children. Mm. Mm. When God mm. created man, he said it's for companionship. Mm. It was later he said, now go and be fruitful. Mm. So settle the joy, have joy, why, have why, peace mommy, why in you. People are, bought? people are bought because they have unwanted pregnancies. Mm. That means they are pregnant at a time they were not expecting it. Mm. Mm. So I just want to buttress your point that sometimes this pregnancy thing come when you're not expecting it. Mm. When you're too anxious, mm. it, the hormones self, they become stressed. They become too tense. Mm. Or sometimes you, you for, forget, forget about you this thing for a while. You just have to look for something. Okay? Get and committed think, think to something. something. You know, when you take your mind off 
Oh, life is not all about children. Mm. There are people that have children, and it's as if, why did I bring this one? Mm. So life is not all about, we know it, it, it brings joy. We are to, uh, we are to have children. All, all that one is, but if it's not coming now, you shouldn't allow that to kill your future, kill your presence, kill your future. Mm. Hold on to God, and God will definitely satisfy you. Okay. The other one talks about uh, <laughs> maybe touching the... Mm -hmm. That's why I read that passage. Mm. Submitting yourselves. Mm. One thing, your body is not your own. Your husband's home is not his own. So that is just part of everything about him belongs to you. Everything about him belongs... I mean, you belongs to him. So if he's touching him, those are part of those places we said will well, the woman help is you. even saying the man is asking him to touch. You are lucky the man is even speaking. There are uh -huh. some people, their man will not even tell them what they want. Uh -huh. For goodness sake, if your husband is saying, touch me in this part. That means that is where he sister, likes. My mm. sister, do the touching well. Take your time. Massage it well. Start from the tip, that sensitive part. Do the massaging well. Down. Aye. It look like we mm. widely said, like we have read to you, submit your bodies. It's God that has given us this thing to enjoy. Marriage is like your uh, enjoyment here on earth. So mm. please go ahead and do it. There's no, there's nothing, there's nothing. Mm. Okay, mm. I think that has answered um, uh, the question of the person that, uh, the, lady, the woman that sent the uh, question. Mm. My wife doesn't make any sound during sex. She's always looking unhappy. So always. There, there, there was one too, mommy, that they said mm. that for 20 something years, my wife has not had answered. Okay, 15 I, years. I think, I think you have answered 15, that. I think we have answered. Yes, yeah. But mommy, you can just say something one or two. For about. 15 years, the, but well, yeah. we've been saying it all the mm. while. Um, it's not a matter of enjoying sex. Mm. Maybe you said the wife sometimes, she will just allow you. Mm. Find out the fundamental problem. Mm. There is an issue. You know, women will not cooperate in sex if you have not answered. Maybe she has an emotional problem, mm. affection, you don't pay, you don't give attention to her. You don't appreciate her. You don't her. appreciate her. Mm. And all you come to do is, oh yeah, open. You want to go in and go and out. And come out. So she will just sometimes say, oh yeah, enter now and go. <laughs> when you are tired, you come out. You know, she's not emotionally attached to what you're doing. Mm. So all he needs to do is find out what is wrong. Call your wife and sister, just like the one of our caller that called. I said, uh, my wife, I, I walked out of the house, I came back, and the wife was like, he's a you don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that yeah, part. Yeah, that's true, that's mm. true. You know, at least try and mm -hmm. talk to her. Mm. Let's relate with her. Mm. Call her as a friend, as a sister, mm. as a mother. I'm sure she didn't start that way. <laughs> yeah. She wasn't like that from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, uh, what can a man do to gain back his wife's trust? E.g., when a man hides a child away from his wife, after so many years in the marriage. Mm. This is a serious issue. And um, there's another one. In a situation where your husband does not last up to a minute, hmm, he wants it every day. But my interest is getting so low, diminishes by the day. I have tried all I could to make him last long, but to no avail. What can a man do to gain the trust of his wife? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want maybe to the wife uh, learns. Yes, I think she she said actually learns that the husband has a wife, um, a child outside of the marriage. Yes, I'm saying to change, change, repent. When you offend me and you tell me sorry, I res I respect a corresponding behavior mm. to back up your words. Mm. So if you tell me sorry. I want to see the reason why you're saying sorry. Mm -hmm. So if your wife offends you or your husband offends you and you, you're saying sorry or the man is saying, how do you gain the trust? Mm. I mean, you know how you build the trust when you started in the first place. Mm. So the way you build the trust, go back and build the trust. And mm. this, I want to say this, before you get married, please, don't hide anything from your spouse. All this issue, especially with women, there's a lot of women who go into marriage with children, they don't want to tell their spouse. And eventually, when the man gets to know, it becomes mm. a big issue in the marriage. Look, let me tell you the truth. The Bible says that love is open. If you truly love somebody, I believe you don't want to hurt that person. You want to be open to that person. Mm. So when you are going into marriage and somebody wants to marry you, open up. I have a child. 
if the person is truly the will of God, mm. it's better you have the misunderstanding at the beginning yeah. than having the misunderstanding yeah. after five years. Mm. And by the time you do that, you are going to break the trust of the man. And let me tell and you the truth. To it's going back. to be difficult to build by that trust. Mm. Of course, you might say build it back. Mm. But the truth is, it's going to take another process. So mm. why don't you save yourself the old stress and just walk up to the man. I have a child. I have a child. And then the two of you at the beginning can then decide, okay, this child, we're going to keep it, keep the yeah, child with this person. Mm. We're going to keep the child with this person. Mm. Instead of you hiding... I mean, marriage is not something that you... We, we've talked about uh, open nakedness on the show mm. several mm. times. Mm. Be naked, okay? Don't hide anything from your spouse. Mm. There is no secret sin. There's no, no secret, secret sin. Mm. I mean... Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we have those messages, but let me just take them quickly. Um, I love your program. I love this program so much. Thank you, Reverend, for mm. saying you love this program. Please, I appreciate your program. Please uh, help put me in prayer. Uh, this woman said she has come of age. She needs her own husband. Please pray for me. Uh, I love this program. God bless you. God bless you too for God loving this you. program. Uh, please, my love, love expression and sex becomes too much in a marriage. Okay, does love and um, sex becomes too much in a marriage when it begins to rob you off of your time, personal things, and family prayers? No. She even went further. Okay. I'm trying to understand she said that. further okay. that even when she's pregnant, the man wants to sleep with her. Of course. Of course, when she's pregnant, the man is allowed. And so now she's asking the question, does love and sex become too much in a marriage? It depends on her definition. When it begins you. to rub you off. Then your it, time. it depends on the time. The time. Is okay, for mm. example, you know, planning is also involved. It's important, yeah. If a woman, th there's a lady that was saying that she's a nurse. It is when she dress up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's she's dressed up with her whites. It is then she when she steps out, yeah, the husband will say, "Come, mm. undress. I want to speak with you." Mm. So you know, for that kind of that's, uh, a, wrong that, that, that's a wrong timing. Mm. So I, I, I would like to say that uh, all those things too needs to be structured. Mm. If you if you if you have a banker as a wife, mm. okay, you know that she's going to go out in the morning. And she's going to come out very late at night. So plan it. Plan, uh, sex is even good when it's planned. You have a timetable. In fact, you're already expecting it. There's some times you can just pick up your phone and test your husband and say, I hope you've not forgotten that you are on the roster husband. this night. Mm -hmm. I get some kind of test once in a while. So <laughs> you, can, you can do that. Mm. And, and the, by the time you do that, the person is already prepared because sometimes people might get so worked up that they forget. Mm -hmm. mm. They forget. Uh, Lagos is stressful. Nigeria is stressful these days. Everybody is looking for one thing or the other. Yeah. Mm. The world is stressful. So you can do a kind of reminder. Ping, ping, ping. Hello, babes. Don't forget me this night, oh, okay? Mm. So the girl is already prepared or the woman is already prepared. Mm. And then there was a question that uh, somebody that said, my husband doesn't last. Mm. Let, me, okay. let me tell you one single truth. There is this thing going on in Christendom. Mm. And it looks like I, I keep hearing almost every woman saying, my husband doesn't last. My husband doesn't last. And you know what? Gradually, gradually, the devil is trying to bring in strange doctrine. Mm. Some people are even going to the extent of negotiating using a vibrator. Mm. Some people are even negotiating getting a younger person to satisfy them sexually. Mm. Let me tell you something. You see, this Christianity, when the devil tries you on the left, tries you on the right, he can even come to your marriage to try you. Mm. And he could even be trying you in that area. Mm. So your, 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 the way you understand that thing also depends, it, it depends on your relationship with God. Mm. I mean, this might, this might sound funny, but it is. I mean, it's, that's the reality. Now, I would advise the first thing you do. It might be funny. Why don't you pray about it? Why don't you pray about it? Mm. Because God designed sex for everybody to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And God, it, it looks it look like sometimes we, 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 we take away God. From the things we do. Yeah. Don't let us take away God from the things you do. Mm. Your husband is not satisfied. Pray about it on your own. The man doesn't even need to be involved. Mm. Father, I commit this relationship into your hands. I want to enjoy my sex with my husband. We come to Holy Ghost services times in that number. Mm -hmm. You hear that the GO say, but there's a clause. I'm telling you a personal testimony. Somebody, uh, 
somebody they came to see me. One of our prayer points when Daddy Gio said, you have 30 minutes or one hour to talk to God. Mm. That was one of our prayer points. Father, I am committing my husband's penis into your hands. Make it satisfy me. And God, she's saying now that, in fact, she's the one crying now and say, I beg, no kill me. <laughs> there is nothing God cannot do. Mm. When you allow the devil to take over your heart, he begins mm. to give you suggestions, your husband is not mm. satisfying you, you get stressed up, you get, take it to, there's a song that says, oh, because we do not carry mm. everything to God, mm. everything. Mm. You need water at home, mm. you need money, mm. you need clothes, anything you need, take it to God in prayer. And I promise you, God is capable of mm. fixing it. Yeah. He will. He, he will. He's Once capable of fixing it. in the hands mm. of God. I think that's why he said a lot of us sometimes we forget the place of God. Yeah. Yeah. When we do things, we say, we can, I can still cope. Mm. I can manage. Mm. Don't manage it. Mm. That one minute that is for you to ask for something mm. from God, that thing go on that you that know is that, is, you. that is bothering you. He cares. Put it in the hands of mm. God. He cares. He listens my new to test our detail. prayers. Yes, mm. he does. What must I do to satisfy my husband? I want to say that uh, the phone lines uh, will be open up for you. So please, this is a time for people to call. And uh, when you call us, mute the volume on your TV set and just go straight to the point. Tell us uh, why you're calling us, if there's an issue. You know, just say there's something bothering your mind and you just wish to share with us on this program. Please do that and God bless you. What must I do to satisfy my husband? I appreciate what you people are doing. You are doing a great job. But I would suggest that this kind of program be air later in the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've pleaded that they should allow the children to, as in school, they resume now. So children, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe one bed. of those days we'll be doing a repeat. Mm, maybe we'll time. do a repeat later. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah, what we're saying, you sponsor. That's what we're calling on sponsors. Come ahead, sponsor mm. this program so that at least we could extend. You know, hours to hours and okay, uh, where mommy God will be here. No? <laughs> <laughs> we have our first caller. Hello. Hello, happy new year to our first caller. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yes, sir, we can hear you. Good evening and thank you for calling. Go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Pastor Isaac calling from Kwame. Okay, Pastor Isaac, go ahead, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. God bless you. Amen. We really want to thank our mommies, the two mommies. In fact, the last time we, I watched the program, I named the first mommy Deepa Light Redeem. The other mommy Winners Redeem. <laughs> You're such an interesting person. Appreciate you too. Thank you very much. You're such an interesting person. I'm telling you. God bless you. God bless your marriage. God bless your home. So we have winners. Winners redeem. We are we are one body in Christ. So we are all. Yeah. We thank God. We thank God. People want to hear the truth. They want to balance both. 
it will not turn cover is when we know that this is the truth oh, and we're trying to rub ah, don't worry now we are in church mm. setting mm. let's just mm. you know but there are some things we just don't want mm. let's face facts mm. it is happening people are affected mm. whether we like it or not these are christians yeah, yeah. of course these are christians these are people that they run to us and they tell us please are you we only that hate god please help this marriage you know mm. what can this person mm. you know but we thank God. Yeah. We thank God for Dove Television. So if mm. God has laid it in your heart that you want to sponsor this program, mm. please do that. Mm. Or you have a product mm. you want to advertise on this program, don't worry. Pastor Mrs. Gold is here. <laughs> and Mommy Olale Kotu is here. Just <laughs> go ahead. You do that. Hello, you're also a living couple. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, you're also a living couple. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Okay, okay, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Uh, but, uh, are you on the program right away? Yes, sir. You are listening to your television. You are Please. Live. You are live, sir. Just go ahead, sir. We can hear you. Uh, I think this is the first time that we are watching the program. Mm. Okay, sir. And uh, it was very interesting, even though there is a never failure. Oh. Uh, I see my God that I see joined them back again. Okay. It's a living program that I cherish most for the young guys like we that we are coming into the marriage. Mm. In fact, I love it to the extent that uh, I, I left my lesson. Even mm. my wife sitting beside me too, she let her own lesson there. Wow. Mm. Because and this is your first time. There are a lot of things. It is wow. there are a lot of things that is rocking the marriage. But mm. tonight, God shed more light on it. And wow! Wow! All wow. the glory to God. Wow. So glory to God. To thank, God for that. thank you, sir. God. Thank you, and keep loving your wife. Yes. yes. Thank you so yes. much. My mommy with the blue <laughs> hair tie. It's a new <laughs> mommy. I like her. Okay. I like everything about her because she makes the program to be more and more interesting to me. The way she. <laughs> Our church is Lagos Province 61. Uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Lagos Province 61. Okay. And if you want mommy, Pastor Mrs. Oluwato Yola Lekon and Pastor Mrs. Golda Dere to come for lecture, you are free to call them. Please, let's have their numbers display. You are free to call them. Let them come and lecture them. <laughs> That's the fact. Let them come and lecture women. And then, you know, we're, we're, we're promising, this man said something. We're promising in February, we're going to do a singles edition. Hmm. You know it's Valentine. Yeah. So we're going to do a singles edition. Hmm. We're going to talk to people who are coming into marriage. Because most of those problems people are having in marriage were fundamental problems, were problems that they brought into their marriage. Hmm. Okay, mommy, like this person having an issue is not telling the husband. So... Uh, she had a child, she didn't tell the husband, and now they are married. Mm -hmm. So we want to we talk to people who are getting prepared for marriage. Mm. We want to teach you marital prerequisites, mm. things you need to know, mm. things that must be on ground. So watch out, February edition, we're going to dedicate a Sunday, I'm and we're going to be discussing fact, marital Sunday, prerequisites. Sundays, we'll, we'll we're going to look that. at marital mm. prerequisites. Hello, you're on to living couple. Yes, sir, we can hear you, sir. Please go ahead, sir. I, I quite appreciate what you are doing. It's a very laudable program. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, sir. Uh, uh, we, I appreciate if a male can be introduced. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Okay, Did sir. you watch last week? There was a male. There yes, was a male a around last week, one. sir. Mm. Uh, well, For I couple. Hello. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Tell him. Okay. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, okay. sir. We, we will, sir. But for now, sir, we want everyone watching that um, for this quarter, we'll have just the three of us on this program and gradually we'll start getting the male aspect also. But very soon we're working on, on it, sir. So please just, uh, for now, that's why we have Pastor Mrs. Gold here, a marriage counselor. She's not biased. She's just trying to, you know, balance both aspects. When it comes to the women, she speaks her mind straight. When it comes to the men, she tells you this is how it is. But not to worry, uh, we'll start coming up with that. Uh, maybe in our other edition coming up later this year. This is just a fresh start. The, 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 we'll the, have the, the, the scenario aspect. we're discussing, mm. and uh, we said we had an issue of someone who was traveling for excellence, and then 
traveled, the husband traveled with a child without the wife's consent. Mm. And then we're discussing. I just want us to talk about it. You know, I just get prompted now to talk about it. Mm. You know that I just want to beg every couple listening that this year, don't do anything without carrying your spouse along. Mm. A lot of women, I think we said it before, a lot of women go to the extent of registering for exams abroad without telling their husband. Mm. A lot of men will go looking for apartments without telling their wives. Mm. So please, this year, we want to beg you, whatever you are doing, carry your wife and your husband along. Don't let your, no, no, it's, it's not that when you finish, you now come and tell your husband, look at what I've done, oh. Uh, I did this. No, 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 no. Before you even plan, before you even start it, whatever, you, you're buying a property, you, you want to change your school, mm. you want to change your job, mm. bring it to the table, on mm. the bed, on the dining mm. table, on any, just this, it may even be in the car. Mm. Call your husband. I say, oh, sweetheart, I'm doing this. Call your wife. Sweetheart, I'm doing this. Carry your husband and your wife along. Number two, this issue of taking people for granted. Mm. I want you, I want couples listening to me to stop it. Don't take your wife A for lot granted. of Don't people in Christian granted. marriages mm. take their partners for granted. It's not right. A lot of women take their husband and say, I say, he's a pastor. He will understand, Joe. No. Even if he's not say, a pastor. Yeah, even if it's, no, it's okay. common among mm. pastor's wife. They believe the man is spiritual, and then they think the man doesn't have erection. They think that women who come to church, there are some women in church who have agenda. They think the man is not is not seen. Mm. So please, as a pastor's wife or as a, as 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 a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as somebody who is in any leadership position of any capacity, don't take your husband for granted. And for the men, don't take your wife for granted. Some a woman was complaining. Each time she cooks, she will bring the food to the table, and then the husband will sit on the couch pressing the phone, pressing the phone, and then she will call. Only come and eat now. The husband will say, "I'm coming. Let me quickly reply this meal. I'm coming until the food gets cold." And eventually, when the man now comes to the table to, to eat, the man will not the man will not touch the food and say, "Ah, oh, this food is cold. Carry it, go and warm it." And the woman will be like, "Oh God, what am I trying to say this year?" Don't take your husband for granted. Look, that time you can quickly drop the food. It happens to women too. Oh. There are some women. The husband wants to go out. And then it is then they will start fighting the daily. It's then they will start making up. Don't take your spouse for granted. These are unspoken emotions that get built up. Mm. And by the time it springs off, then you ask, what did I do? It could be ordinary stepping on demand. The man will say, what did you step on me? And then you will say, ah, calm down. Now, is it not ordinary step on me? Look, it's not, it wasn't ordinary step on me. It is a result of, I come, thank you, mommy, that's the right mm. word. Accumulated emotion. And I need to say this, which is good for uh, you telling us this, that don't take your husband for granted, don't take your wife for granted. We're supposed to go somewhere with my husband. And, you know, I was trying to tidy the house. I said, oh, don't worry. He said something. He said, I'm sure if you're going to your office, mm. as early as seven, you would wow. have been up. That's true. Go to I said, but the time he said, I just, Tom just said, keep quiet, mm. allow him to talk. And that's true. He just kept quiet. So while we're going, my little child, you know, was running temper. I said, okay, let's just get him something to use and everything. Mm. He was angry that we're running late because of traffic. Mm. I could understand mm. his point. He mm. understand. But I was like, ah, calm down now. Mm. The food we're supposed to eat to break our fast. He put it in the car and he just threw. Mm. I, he, he was about to kick the, you know, with the okay. anger and everything. Mm. And he threw the food. And, and now, I said, listen, I said, ha, eh, you see now. It's because you're angry. Said, I'm not angry. Mm? I just kept quiet. I said, let me just be quiet. Mm. But we had to resolve that. I said, ah, it's because, you see, it's because I'm a godly person. So, mm. this, you know, I was just keeping, it's I because I'm a godly person. The devil strategically yeah. trying to create a problem. I'm telling Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And look at the grief we are saying. That is why. Said, you know, if I, you are going to your office mm. or yet, I'm sure by six you would have, you know, be up. Because you are going, you want to, I said, ah, worry now. I said, you know, I was trying to, but someone was like, I, was, I still said it that, ah, you know, I said, I'm not, I said, it's true. I know you are not angry. Hey, my sweetheart. You know, I just had to. There's up. a movie I want to make I want to recommend for every Christian, not just couple, every Christian to watch, Waiting for Time. Dove showed it last week. Mm. This man was a man of God, and the enemy were strategizing. It took them time to get him. They were planning. They brought in adultery, demanding fall. They brought in love of money, demanding fall. Eventually, it was something very simple mm. that they used in getting the man. So I want to tell couples that are listening, that thing that you think is making your husband angry or making your wife angry, that's not the genesis. Trace it back. Mm. It could be your like a desica attitude. Mm. The man comes back home, no food. 
the woman, you're, like mommy is saying, you want the woman, to, you want to browse, you didn't buy data. No, <laughs> how are you? You just want to go in, come. Look, there's a way you would touch a woman. There's a way, she, we met, we've talked about this, can't see that number. Getting wet for a woman comes with emotion. So you, you, do, you do this foreplay thing, you send messages, romantic messages. You know this thing you said? I noticed a woman during crossover service. Mommy, do you know that? This woman was sitting beside her husband during crossover service. And immediately they start shouted, Happy New Year. She stood up from where her husband was, came to where we said, Happy New Year, greeted everybody. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy it was after she <laughs> greeted everybody, Happy, happy New Year. Happy. She now remembered her husband. Mm. Happy New Year, hugged her husband. Where I was, I, I know it might not mean to anybody, but as a relationship person, mm. I got that message. Mm. The man well, may take the hug, mm. but it's not the right time. Mm. Look, let your husband, let your be wife be your priority. Mm. Don't carry your wife or your husband and put them in the hand of your in-laws. Mm. Don't carry your husband or your wife and put them in the hand of your sister or your brother or your mother. Mm. The Bible says, for those reasons shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife, and the mm. two of them shall become one. This passage of the scripture, like mommy also said, is not only for the man, no. It's not only for the man. There are some women, they are in their marriage. It is their mother that is controlling, that the is controlling them. I know of a sister, she's married here in Lagos. It is her mother that is in the village. If the, man gives, if the husband gives her 7,000 to cook she soup, will call. she will call. Hello? She will call the mother. Hello, ma. My husband has given me 7,000 to cook soup. Should what should I, I do? <laughs> then the mother will say, okay, take 2,000. Go and put it in the bank. You know that all these men, they can't be trusted. Mm. So go and save 2,000. She will save 2,000. And mm. then the mother will say, okay, go to the market, buy okra, uh, 500, buy fish. Two, okay. And by the time they eventually cook the I soup. I want us to pick uh, this okay, call. Come. She's from Netherlands. Hello? Okay. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. Your name and what part of Netherlands you're calling from? Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You will. Wow. I really love the program. I've been trying to call you. Mm. Uh, I'm in a situation that uh, I need a help. Mm. Like this program, someone to talk to. Mm. Um, I'm a Christian. Mm. And uh, I'm talking to you. My marriage is in a, in a shabu. Mm. Uh, so that's why I need someone to talk to. Mm. Half of them. Okay, sir, thank you so much. You, you will get their numbers, okay? Before the end of the program, we'll have Pastor Mrs. Golda Doye's number display right there on the TV screen, mm -hmm. and also Pastor Mrs. Oluwa's twin, um, Ola Lekon. The email address and phone number will be displayed right there. Just quickly get uh, the contacts. Also, you can send in a message that definitely I'll, I'll forward their numbers to you. We have another call. Hello? Please don't listen to your television set. Uh, mm -hmm. Our time is we far is fast spent. Okay, so please don't listen to your television. Just call us and go straight to uh, what you want to ask us. Thank you so much and God bless you. You you mentioned something and which I want to chip in before we got that call from Netherlands. Mm -hmm. There's this saying that is rampant everywhere. People keep saying, ah, all men are the same thing. I always. Say no. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. allow someone to tell you all men are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Your husband is your husband. It is mm -hmm. not all men. Mm -hmm. It is not all men that is providing for you. Mm -hmm. It is not all men that is having private chats with you. Mm -hmm. It is your husband. So mm -hmm. just tell them my husband is not part yeah, of all those yeah. all that, men. That is the world language. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, all, all men, men are, are the same. same. You but start and if you look at negative. it in the circle of men too, they say women are the same. <laughs> <laughs> so the men too should not so, should not say yes. that, you know. And that is why, you know. When she talks about the singles, when you come in, many women come with that mentality mm. that all men are the same. They can't mm. be trusted. Mm. They can't be loved. Mm. You can't love them 100%. Mm. You know, they come with so much. Mm. Uh, you don't share all your secrets mm. with them. So when you come into marriage with that, and the man is like, chuku, 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 mm. chuku, 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 you're hiding this, hiding, hiding this, that. you're hiding that, and then. Uh, you feel even when the man is being sincere, you say, I don't know what he's doing. Mm. You said all men some, are the same. Yes, they say all men mm. are the same. You are mm. suspicious. Before you know mm. what is happening, if somebody is saying, hello, sir, how are you? <laughs> you know, Job said something. Mm. He said, those things I feared yeah. eventually, eventually have come upon me. Mm. Look, as a Christian, don't take God out of your marriage. Mm. 
Because Momo says when you say, eh, I don't want to trust this person. I don't want to do this thing. Mm -hmm. The devil can even capitalize on that thing yeah. and eventually put you into trouble. Mm. So like mommy said, be open. It will go a long way in helping you. Thank you, ma. So be, be open. Don't hide anything this year. Be as much as, as much as possible. Be open to your spouse. Be open. I mean, whatever you want to do, any step you want to take, carry your husband along. And I want to bear couples this year. I want you to bond more, especially on the social network. There are some people on WhatsApp, they have not said hi to their wife this year. <laughs> they have not said hi. Please, once in a while, when you sit in your office, when you sit, chat up. I mean, send, send romantic text messages. Mm. When the wife is going out, when the husband is going out, appreciate how beautiful they are. Mm. Tell them something nice. It, 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 can, uh, it makes your bond to be stronger. Mm. Talk more. When your wife does something that you don't like, correct in love. Mm. When your husband does something you don't like, correct in love. You know the verse we were reading, mm. sorry to cut you, 33 mm. says, nevertheless, let every, you didn't read that part. Mm. Say, nevertheless, let every one of you in mm. particular. Mm. In particular, I like that. In particular. particular. So love his wife. Wow. Even as, as himself. himself. Mm. And, the wife and the wife sees, sees that she, she reverences her husband. husband. The Bible is so complete. Mm. The Bible is so complete. Love her. Love her with everything you've got. Mm. I mean, we, we talked about it. There was a man who had an accident, and then uh, the, young, the man and the younger brother were involved in the accident, and then they rushed the man to the hospital, and they needed to make a, a deposit, some cash, mm. and the brother could not unlock the phone. Mm. And he said, okay, don't worry. I will just get to the wife, and I will tell the wife to unlock the phone. So immediately, jokingly, he doesn't want the wife to know that the man is in the hospital. So jokingly, he just said, uh, auntie, please help me unlock uh, the password. Unlock my brother's phone. So the man, woman jokingly said, ah, why? Now tell your brother to lock. They didn't want to relate that the husband oh, is in the oh, hospital. Oh, 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 so okay. jokingly said, oh, my, brother, my auntie, unlock now. He said, no, I'll go and give it to your brother to unlock. So when he became serious, the brother had to walk on up and say, look, auntie, unlock this phone. Brother is in the hospital. We need to do transfer. Unlock this phone so that we can do a mobile transfer. It was then the woman broke down in tears. So I said, I am password. married to your brother for 32 years. I don't know, I don't know the password. Mm. Jesus. And then we're talking about the Christian marriage. People are Christians that go to church. I want to beg couples listening to me tonight. Look, there's an adage in Yoruba that says, a corpse doesn't hide from whosoever that's going to beat him. Yeah. You are married. This person you can trust with your body. I tell the women, a man that sleeps with you, a man that sex you, a man that there is no part of your body he doesn't see, mm. And then you keep hiding things from that kind of a person. Mm. These are teachings from the pit of hell. Mm. A woman that has born you children, a woman that has, has laid on her life mm. to go into the labor room and mm. bring you seed to bear your name in hell, yet you are hiding things from them. Mm. Please, have a retake this year. Make sure that everything you're doing this year, 2019, is a way that please God, like the Bible says, both of you referring yourself, let it be mutual. Mm. Submit to your husband. Submit to your wife. Few people submit your husband, submit your hey. There are so many texts that say that. In fact, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll try as much as possible to just try. And I'll tell you, thank God. Men. I'm oh. telling you, thank God for this program. Please, what advice can you give to a man or woman who takes sex as food? That's one. Uh, Ma, I want you to talk about okay. Uh, I think that, that uh, Pastor Gold will answer that privately. Okay, please, how can I get the phone number of a beloved sister seated in your middle? Pastor Daniel, okay. <laughs> the beloved sister is our mommy, an area pastor's wife. <laughs> Lagos province, 61. I, 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 what do you want to say now? Take your The other day, somebody called. You understand? And said he appreciates me. Thank God my husband has to walk into the <laughs> Thank God. Oh, okay. And the, uh, our daddy is waiting. <laughs> He's in the studio too, waiting. But he said he wants your number. Thank you. So Pastor Daniel will do just that. <laughs> I, well done, ma. I enjoyed this program. Please, during this fasting and prayer, when can a man touch his wife? Mm. Mommy, regional mommy will yes. answer that. Yes. Regional mommy, um, <laughs> how do you deal <laughs> with a wife who is insensitive? <laughs> to her husband needs how do you deal with a wife who is in that that's for you ma but ma mm. when in this period of fasting in this period <coughs> we're in fasting you mm. know but we've you know we've eaten this evening mm. so when can we <laughs> when can we touch life we can start feasting when can we smooth hey, <laughs> just my yes. feet. Yeah. <laughs> the bible has already said it the only time the two of you can abstain is, is because fasting. of um, fasting. fasting 
Mm. So fasting ends by six. Six. Mm. So you resume work. When you are not looking, look at the camera <laughs> and tell them what you do. They need to know. <laughs> Five minutes by six, <laughs> after your prayer and everything, you resume work. Mm. Mm. And then um, you have it till 12. <laughs> Quarter to 12. <laughs> Quarter to 12. Stop. Let me just say five minutes to 12. <laughs> if you want to go, uh -huh. so at least five minutes to 12, then you close workshop to resume again. To resume again. So don't use fast as an, an excuse. excuse. Mm. I remember there was um, in the auditorium when daddy declared that 100 days fast. Mm. And uh, when the thing was rounding up, mm. that was the closing, you know, we're mm. having. Ah, one woman said, my God, now I wish Baba can increase this fasting. Mm. Said, because we will start work again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because, you know, after eating, you are tired, he's tired. So for him to even ask for, yeah, for he's things, already right? tired. <laughs> so he will be tired. Then. But that shouldn't be. You shouldn't mm. use sex as mm. um, uh, fasting as an excuse. As an it excuse. should even be... Um, a catalyst mm. to let you come together. You are praying together. You should also, at least, bond together. Bond together. Okay, mm. then the question, the other uh, question. Okay. Is Set, let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, our time this. is up. S somebody says, what advice do you give to somebody who thinks sex, 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 no, 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 that thinks sex is food. Mm. Okay. Let yeah. me declare this. Sex is food. Mm. Amen. Sex is food. It's a type of emotional food. Mm. If you don't give it to your spouse, you starve them. So correct that notion. Sex is food. So please feed your spouse. Mm. Feed your wife, feed your husband. Now, a woman that is not sensitive, that is why we're having a program like this. Because some people are insensitive because they don't know. Ignorance. And the Bible says when the foundation is restored, what can the righteous do? Mm. So what they're going to do, number one, is to make sure you get somebody your wife can talk to. We've seen men on program who are saying, I drag my wife to sit down and listen to your show. Mm. And the reason why he's doing that is because he wants somebody to talk to the wife. Mm. So please, get your pastor's wife to talk to this woman. And then, if you're a woman like that, you're listening... Please try and be sensitive. And for the man, above all, what you can do is to tell your needs to your wife. Because sometimes, some of us, we cover these needs up. We just assume that they will know. Mm. Even the man, assume my wife will know. The wife, too, assume my husband will know. Mm. If you have a need, relate it verbally mm. and say, this is what I want you to do. Like the man that said on the sex, I, I want my wife to touch my penis. Carry the hand, put on the penis and say, touch this. The woman, if you want your husband to touch your breast, carry the hand, put on the breast. Tell him, you can be specific. Tell him the nipple, do it gently. Super glue the hand. Super glue the hand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say thank you so much. We, we have so much text messages. The numbers yes. have not stopped. Uh, yes, the numbers are scrolling right now for sponsorship and advert. And also, uh, uh, Pastor Gold and Mommy Alale count the number. I, I hope you definitely got that number there. But not to worry, I can also do that on the phone line. Just send a text. I need mommy's number. I can forward the number straight ahead to you. Thank you so much for staying tuned to Dove Television to watch this program. I wish we could go on and on, mm -hmm. but I want to round it off by thanking God Almighty and a prayer from mommy, uh, Pastor Mrs. Oluwa, Tony Olalikon. Please. Mm -hmm. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we want to thank you again. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you for your 2019. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for how you have started with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for rebuilding homes and marriages. Thank you, Jesus. Father, take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. After all is said and done, mm. you are still the God mm. that settles and answers prayers. Yes, Lord. We ask, O oh God, that this year you will go into every marriage. Amen. Ev into every home. Amen. You will come every storm. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That this year, oh God, we pray. Mm -hmm. Every home that has been having troubles, having terrible storm, mm -hmm. we command peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We ask, oh God, those ones that are having issues, mm -hmm. underlined issues, Jesus. that nobody knows, and they're just talking and quarreling mm -hmm. over minor and little, little things mm -hmm. while the underlying factor is there. Mm -hmm. I pray, oh God, the spirit of openness Jesus. to one another. Father, let it rest upon them in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. That in every home, even as you have instituted marriage, you, you brought it for peace, you brought it for joy. You want us to have heaven on, heaven on earth. We ask that, Lord, in every home, watching us, listening to us, Father, that will be their portion this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we command every hand of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Wherever it is scattering your home, wherever in the name it is of Jesus. fire, 
in we the command name of the fire Jesus. of God to consume Amen. it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And every strange woman disturbing in your the home, name of Jesus. we command them this in moment the name that there Jesus. be a separation in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know you, testimony Jesus. of your faithfulness. Amen. We are bound in the name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you for hearing thank us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for those prayers. We want to say a big thank you to our regional mommy. And I also want to say thank you to our winner Mr. regime. Yes, our <laughs> winner regime. Lagos <laughs> Promise yes, 61. So. Our <laughs> winner regime. <laughs> but Daddy is waiting outside. Though, you know. Pastor Daniel, I will send you. I'm going to be like, that you're doing so to come and carry yourself from the field. You see, and and like mommy said, you yes, must so. resume work this night. Yes, so. And you will close the work by five minutes to twelve. Yeah. <laughs> My own is. <laughs> Thank you, oh, thank, thank you to all our listeners. Yeah. Happy New Year, Happy once New Year, see, once you, see you next yeah, week. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>